All right, we are back. As you can see, we deprecated all those APIs. Mm -hmm. And as we said in the previous episode, we need to implement a scoring function where every correct answer will give you one point. Right, so we we'll have at least a couple options here. Since there is no notion of result in the engine, we could argue that the client might have its own business layer there that calculates and builds the score. Right, it could be just a function in the client. It could be in main, it could be in the presentation, it could be anywhere. Yeah, basically. Or it could be a separate module. It could be a separate module, yeah. Like a new framework. So why don't we just uh, start implementing that in the engine and then we can think where to put that. Okay, yeah, I don't like to be stuck. So let's add it to the list. Yeah. Where should the scoring behavior leave? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so let me start the timer here. Go. Let's create a test. Yes. Score test. Yeah. Where's the first test? What is uh, the easiest thing we can do? Return zero for um, an empty input. No answers, returns zero. Yeah. Well, scores zero. Yeah. Okay. So, we want to create a score. Right. So here, for instance, we can namespace the function with a, I don't know, like basic scoring, perhaps. Basic score. Basic score dot calculate. Or just a score. Right. For, and we press empty. Yeah, that's an empty array there. And then we assert equal score is zero. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, so we need to create this type. What should it be? It's a class. Basic score. Right. And we have a static function. Yeah. So this is a namespace, basically, right? We are not uh, holding any state in this class. So that's why I don't mind, you know, having it as a class there. You know, we just have a function. It's a static. You get some input. You provide some output. That's it. So pass an array of something we don't know yet. And it returns right. an integer. Yeah. And that's the thing here, that the basic score returns an int. Perhaps some other form of score can return a float, for instance, right? Can return anything. Anything, yeah. That's the whole point of ab abstracting the result and separating it from the flow, because now the client has all the power to do whatever they want. Exactly. We have a failing test because it returns minus one, expects it to be zero. Right. Now let's return zero. Okay. We can even inline this in the assertion. Here. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Let's commit this. Scoring empty answers scores zero. Yeah. What is the next test? A wrong answer. Right, so the wrong answer scores zero as well. Well, one wrong answer scores zero. Right? Yeah, that should do it. So actually we are passing a wrong answer, but it needs to be compared to something, right? Yes. So comparing to correct answer, something like this. Yes. The score should be zero. So if now we say comparing to an array, another array. Yes. But now we broke the first test. We can just give a default value for now. Right. But now I want to fix this comparing to an empty array. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Scores zero for wrong answer. Yeah. Now, one right answer. Scores one. Yes. Correct here. It should be one. Because they match. Right. So let's call this correct then to match the test. Very nice. Now let's run. It fails. How can we make this pass now? Well, let's make this string. Yeah, when it types. Well, let's give this a name now. Correct answers. Right, answers is the first one. And answers, okay. So let's say if answers equals correct answers, he returns one. Yes. Else zero. Okay. Oh, but we broke the first test. Well, we can check if this thing is empty or not. Right. 
if answers is empty, return zero. Yeah. We can refactor this. Yeah, yeah. That should do it. Great. Let's commit. Score is one, the correct answer. Now I want to have a one right, one wrong. Score is one. So correct, wrong. Comparing to correct, correct two, let's say. Right. This is a correct one, correct one. But now I don't like this in line. Yeah, I agree. And the order is what ties them together. Let's run this. It failed. Yeah, we need somehow to get its element and its index and compare it against the same index of the other array. Probably the easiest way right now is to do a for loop for answer in answers. Oh, but we need the index. Right, we can get the index uh, through the enumerated, I think. Okay. Yeah. So now we have index and answer. Yeah. Okay. Now we can calculate this. Yeah. We need to have a variable score and we say score plus equals if the answer equals correct answer at index plus one, otherwise plus zero. And then we can just return the score. Right. Can you just add parentheses around the answer and the ternary just to be more descriptive there? Great. Commit. Yes. Score a correct answer along with a wrong answer. Beautiful. What if we have now two correct answers? Two correct answers, scores, two. Yeah. So if this is correct two, they match. Right. right. Beautiful. Commit. Proved we can score more than one correct answer. What I don't like about this is that what if these correct answers is uneven with the answers, right? It's uneven, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was thinking about the same thing. So I think, yeah, we need to have some sort of um, way to... Prevent this mistake. Yeah. Okay. Let's write the test first. With an equal sized data. Yeah. For example, if I add an extra answer, it should still score two. Yeah. Because these two match. Right. Well, we have a crash. Yeah. So let's just make this test pass and finish this tomato. Okay. So we could add a check here. Right. If index is bigger than the correct answers count, we just return score. So this is an implementation decision here. Yes. What kind of behavior we want this component to have? I think it should be fine. It should score whatever it can. Okay. Because it allows you to score this game while you're playing it. Right. Yeah, that should do it. And we can refactor this. Well, bigger or equal. Right. Off by one mistakes. Yeah. That's why we need tests. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Off by one error is one of the worst. Classic. Commit. Allow scoring with an equal sized data. Great. See you next time. Bye, y'all.